I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. It's been a minute, I ain't worried about the way. In the club, popping bottles, straight finesse. The only thing in the kitchen cooking is the chef. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. It's been a minute, I ain't worried about the way. In the club, popping bottles, straight finesse. The only thing in the kitchen cooking is the chef. <laughs> Oh, no, yup, yup, he back again Woo! Throw them hands up in the air because he go you know win it. And his beat is knocking And make him want to grab Let's his go. pen and jot down the words I'm feeling good Yeah, that's right Shout out to Boy Chef Dixon here, man We back with another episode of Chopping the Chef Dicks. I'm happy that I woke up today And I'm happy that you woke up today So if you watching this right now and you woke up today I'm happy for you but check this out. We have a very, very special guest today. Um, if you guys know Justin Dixon, not Chef Dix, not Jay Dix, not the Obita Slim, not M. Jones. If y'all know Justin Dixon, y'all know he is a real boxing fan. Real boxing fan. And today on the program, got somebody from Pittsburgh. He's making a real name of himself in the ranks. And we'll get him on the show so I can cook him a decent meal. We can talk about his career thus far because he just turned pro. And hey guys, you know what it is, chopping up with Chef Dix. We be back. <laughs> Bro, what it do is your boy Chef Dix, man. Look, I told y'all I had guests on the show. Hey, guests from all around the world. You never know. I might go around the world and pick up a guest or two. But right now, like I told you, we got somebody special. And right now, you know, when I first met this young man, I called him Coach. Because he actually, you know what I'm saying? He was showing me how to get that hook right. Don't sleep me. All y'all culinary dudes out there, I know y'all heard Chef Bad. I know I was talking stuff. Run up if you want to. <laughs> but anyway, we got the boy Jerome Baxter on the show today. And my man just left the amateur race and he's going pro. Mr. Jerome Baxter. Up, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to hire a professional chef that'll prepare a scrumptious meal for you, let Chef Dix, aka the world's first rapping chef, hit you with an exceptional culinary experience that your taste buds just don't want to miss. I got one question to ask y'all out there. Can you smell what the chef is cooking? Services provided by your boy include caterings for weddings, parties, private dinners, breakfast, lunch, and dinner events. Chef Dix likes to refer to his food as big city taste on a town budget. For more information, go to www.chefdix.com or go to www.1403entcatering.com <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking What's up, Mr. Jerome? How you doing today? You good? I'm doing good. How you doing? Hey, guys. So, from time to time, I might pop up at Gold Medal Boxing Club. You know, shout out Gold Medal, what champions is made. Y'all yeah, be seeing y'all online. My man be in there getting in, you know, jumping and all that. So, you know, why don't you get a world? Tell them a little bit about your backstory for us boxing. Because like I told him, I told him, you just left the amateurs and you going professional. So, why don't you give them a little, you know, insight about that? Well, I started off. I started out in uh, Red Hawk before I went to Gold Medal. You know, sometimes you gotta remove yourself and put yourself in a better situation. Mm -hmm. At Gold Medal, they gave me the opportunity to travel and go to international tournaments and you know tournaments around the state, all over the U.S. to make me a better fighter, make me a rank fighter, a lead fighter, and you know that's the route I took. And, you want to be better in boxing, you got to leave your home and go to travel, travel to different places. Okay, now when you say you travel, you mean as far as the tournaments? You've been in different tournaments in different locations? So basically, you just fighting everybody. It ain't just no set demographic you fight. You just travel around fighting everybody. Yep, I mean, here at home, you know, you, you'll fight the same guys over and over again. And mm -hmm. that's when you become a local fighter. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you got to branch off, branch out of that. I'm an international uh, elite male fighter. Or you, when you wait USA boxing, you become like to become a state champion and all that. Mm -hmm. You have to travel to different states and fight different fighters at you know, different areas and all that. So why don't you give them a little bit of your accolades as far as boxing? Because I was online one day and I saw you ranked up there in that welterweight division in the amateurs, and you know I said, I don't know this. So what was your rankings and all that, you know, as far as being an amateur? I know you're going pro yet, so it ain't, it ain't not on the books as far as pro yet, but the amateur do mean something now. I mean, in Pittsburgh, in Pennsylvania, I'm number one at my weight class, which is 141. I uh, won the state championship two times. Two times. I won the Western. I won the Western, I won the Western District four times. That's my region. So, you know, I've been there. 
six, seven different national mm -hmm. tournaments. Uh, four of them was probably like USA tournaments, and then uh, the other two or three is like just our regular state championships. Mm -hmm. that, so basically, you like getting punched in your head. Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he playing. He don't like getting punched in his head. Hey, but check this out, y'all. We about to chop it up in this kitchen a little more. I'm about to see what I'm going to cook my man, and we're going to be right back at y'all. It's your boy, Chef Dix. Now, I'm going to cook my man Jerome meal because, you know, I'm a chef, and I love to cook people meals. And actually, one day, we was in the gym, because don't sleep me. I'll be in the gym sometime. <laughs> a little too, but um, this is the gym I want to cook for him. So basically today, guys, on the show, I have a um, salmon meal, which is a pan seared salmon with a fresh mango blueberry salsa, and I want to make my man with it. Um, it's actually going to be one of the recipes that's in my book coming, Bachelor Bites. Be looking on that soon. It's coming on Kindle Direct, straight to the internet, man. I ain't playing. I ain't playing around no more. You see it? Cook it up all day. Hey, these t-shirts right here, these are available at ChefDix.com too. But along the lines with that salmon with the fresh mango blueberry salsa, I'm going to give him some fresh vegetable medley and a sweet potato. We're not going to go with uh, a white starch today. We're going to go with a sweet potato that has more nutrients in it, has a better taste. You know, sweet potatoes, you don't really even got to put nothing with them. You know, a little tad bit of butter, maybe a little bit of honey, cinnamon, you got it right there. Um, hey, you know, as far as with boxing, your nutrition is key. Along with working out, your nutrition is key. You're in there fighting for your life. Literally, fighting for your life. So you gotta put good things in your body if you wanna get good things out of your body. Right, sir? That's right. Hey, hey, let's get it popping. All right, guys, we back in the kitchen. And like I say, I have the salmon right here. Already had the fillets filleted. I'm about to cut the vegetable medley. I already have the mango blueberry salsa in the kitchen. I said in the kitchen. It's in the refrigerator chilling. And I'll tell you the process with that. With the mango blueberry salsa, guys, we start with fresh mango. I like to use frozen mango. I said we start with fresh mango. You can use fresh mango or frozen mango. I said it all messed up. Y'all know what I meant, though. We have blueberries. We have onions, green peppers, red peppers, a tad bit of honey, garlic powder, garlic salt, and lime juice. And you got a fresh mango salsa. Yeah, easy peasy. Now with the vegetable medley, guys, something about me and vegetables, I hate when people kill vegetables. Vegetables are supposed to have a little crunch with it. They're supposed to have some firmness to the bite. So if you get your grandma's green beans and they all soupy look like noodles, man, she overcooked them bad boys. Chef Dick's all overcooked them bad boys. But we have um, carrots, squash, green pepper, red pepper, and onion. That'll be the basis of my vegetable medley. And then also, my secret weapon, sweet chili. It's all you need, guys. You need a little flame, some heat, and the sweet chili. Vegetable medley on point. All right, we'll get to it real quick. All right, now, as I get to chopping, now, Jerome, did you peep out that uh, Loma? Not that Loma, did you peep out that tank? Fight last night with Gamboa? What you think about that? Uh, you know, it proved, it proved that Tank might not be able to go the distance with Loma Chica, bro. Yeah, because last night, that was like the first time he went, like 12 rounds or something like that, right? 12 rounds. He started looking tired around that eight, but you know what would be crazy when you listen to them um, commentators talk? I'm in here fighting. I'm supposed to get tired. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. So, along the lines with boxing, why don't you tell me who your favorite fighters is? Uh, my, favorite, my favorite fighter is James Tony. Woo! Lights out! Lights out. Slick boxer. Fighting different weight classes. Yes, he did. He went all the way up for what? Middleweight, super middleweight, yep. heavyweight. I remember that fight with him and Vander Holyfield. Yep. Man, that was crazy. Was crazy. Yep. He was a little dude, too, fighting them heavyweights. Cats don't understand that. Uh, James Tony. Marvin Hagler. Okay, okay. Marvin Hagler. Oh, yeah. Marvelous. Uh, guy named Nikolai Chichi. See, now you didn't drop something on me. I've never heard. I've never heard him. Nikolai who? Nikolai Chichi. Okay, now what, um... Chichi was a... He's an Italian fighter, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, fight back in the day. Okay. 
way back. And he had that slick style like James Tommy. Mm -hmm. And he was way ahead of his time. Way ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy about YouTube? Honestly, about three years ago, guys, I sat on YouTube one summer and I watched Muhammad Ali's whole career. But when I say whole career, I saw fights for him in the amateurs and I really went on box rec and got every fight and looked up every fight. And in one weekend, I watched his whole career. And after that weekend, I understand why he's the greatest. Man. Crazy, crazy. All right, guys. Yeah, All right, guys. As we were sitting there chopping up game, I was actually chopping too. If you notice, I got the zucchini in a um, crown cut. I said crown cut, crescent cut, crescent cut. The carrots are the crescent cut, and the red and green pepper is just rough chopped. Got my onion right here. I'm about to dice that up. 